Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, just want to let you know about how my day went on Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl 50 day. Um, as an Uber driver, uh, first I got a review, a review, a request. You push it, it lets you know the address, it lets you know how long it's going to take to get there. And then it sends the request straight to the person that's requesting the ride. So first I want to let you know I picked up this lady off of Pico in San Vicente, took her to East LA, and uh, we were having a discussion about her being becoming a, a bus driver. And I said, um, it's a good thing to do if you want more money from what you're doing now. I think she was a nurse or something like that, I'm not even sure. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, okay. And then she had asked me how much I get paid an hour. I don't know why I told her, but <laughs> sometimes you kind of feel close where you could tell somebody that information. Everybody, the only way you can really find out is if you actually go on a website and apply for the position. Then it tells you how much you're going to make because when you first start off, you don't get paid that much. But anyway, off into uh, the next request. Now, considering I went all the way over to East L.A., and I didn't want to be really over that area to get more requests in. So I turned off the application. It says to go offline. So that way you won't get no requests. And then I came back closer to the downtown area. Then I received a request uh, from the Santa Fe Apartments. Which is crazy because back in 2012 I was off of work. And I had to work down town in that vicinity so I actually saw when they were actually putting them together and I was like "Ooh, that's those are nice but they're kind of pricey so I couldn't stay over there so ooh, excuse me I'm drinking my coffee this morning so after I picked those people up I dropped them off at uh, a Starbucks because the lady and her boyfriend was like oh we can't get anything started till I have my Starbucks coffee I said hey I had my coffee, so that's where they went. It was not, not even that far away. <clears throat> then once I left there, then I got another request from the same location that I came from at the Santa Fe apartment, and then I met this guy over there. Uh, shoot, I forgot his name. But anyway, he was asking me <clears throat> where did I get my hair done at, and I gave him the information to the lady that does my hair, who's been doing my hair since... 2006 and what she charges me may not be the same as she's going to charge you because you're a new customer but he was pretty cool he was telling me he was from Chicago and he came out here and he was just basically telling me that whoo he didn't realize the rent over there was so high and I said he was like it was he was explaining to me how every little location you go you got to use your little key fob I said yeah I'm used to that because we used to live in Playa Vista, and everywhere you go, the exercise room, the pool, the business center, you got to have a key fob, the garage, the mailbox area, you got to have a key fob. If you don't have that, you can't get it nowhere. It's not like using the key. It goes, Beep. So anyway, so uh, that was pretty cool to, to meet somebody that actually had locks, and I want to say I'm glad to see that I uh African-American guy. I don't know why they call us African-Americans anyway, because I am not from Africa. And I own American, just call me a black person because <laughs> I'm black. At the same time, I'm also German and Indian because my grandfather's German and my grandmother's Indian. But that's off on another subject. So that was pretty cool. <clears throat> then after I dropped him off in Glendale, I got another request having me to pick somebody up in Glendale. And I wind up taking them out to North Hollywood. Now, the funny thing is when they first got in the car... You know, you are, you're supposed to look at the name to see if the name matches the person that's coming to the car. But once the person says, hey, Kristen, how you doing? Then you know you're at the right place because they know you. And I said, oh, what's your name? They said, oh, my wife, my girlfriend, whatever the lady was. She's the one who requested the ride. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. So when they got in the car, I mean, they were just so funny and they just seemed so fun to be around with. They kind of remind me of the Big Bang Theory people. You know, because they're comedians, so they're all pretty funny. So we were wind up going out to Glen, uh, North Hollywood. And the funny thing is, you know, Waze takes you 
um, ways to get through tra get through places without dealing with traffic. And then we were going one direction, and he was like, what is it telling you to go? And well, I said, well, actually, it's telling me to make a U-turn. He was like, oh, go on down to the next light, make a right. So when I did all that, then he goes to his phone, he types up the information, he's telling me, oh, you should go this way because it'll be better instead of going that way because I don't know why they're sending you that way. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'll do it that way. Then, uh, come to find out, so once the people get in the car, you ask them how their day was going, you know, they're telling me it's good. And so he jumps in the car and he says, I said, can I, um, any kind of special music y'all like to listen to? He was like, uh, I want to hear some gangster rap. <laughs> and I said, oh my God. He said gangster rap. Is that what they call it? Oh, I just thought it was called rap. And then the lady in the back, she was like, he just playing. He says that with everybody. I said, oh, okay. I said, but I put out some gangster rap if that's what y'all want to hear. He said, that, then they were like, no, nah, um, we can listen to K-Rock. And I said, okay, that's cool. So I changed it to K-Rock and... I said, you know what? I used to listen to K-Rock back in the 80s, but now, I don't know, it's a little hard for me. So I just tend to kind of mellow down. He was, she was like, yeah, me too. I like 80s music better too. So now it's just plain old rock and roll. I said, yeah. So after I dropped them off, then um, I was coming back into uh, L.A. Because uh, I was trying to get away from, because what it, what this usually does is once you're in that area, you start getting all kind of requests in that area. And I wanted to come back over the hill, uh, over the 101 southbound. So then I got a recall off of Pico, took her, took this lady up to Santa Monica to her storage. And then we started talking about the different storages, how I actually, you know, about two years ago, I uh, first got my storage, I think it was 100 and ten dollars and like every six months it goes up now it got up to 220 and that's whoo that's a lot of money for two years that's how i need to hurry and move so i can get it out of there move it into my house and she was like yeah that was about the cheapest i could find 150 i was like Shh, 150 and you just getting there that's a lot to me but you know that's pretty good i guess for her so then uh when i got to oh i came back home I watched the game, and once the game was over at 7 o'clock, then I received another uh, request in, and this time the game was over, so I went up to uh, San Vicente and Sunset and picked up this couple from a club, uh, or a little bar, rather, where they actually were watching the game and everything. That was pretty cool. They had pretty uh, much good sense of uh, humor. And we were basically, I was just basically listening to them talking. It was kind of funny because they were kind of tipsy. So then I dropped them off, off of, um, well, actually in the area of, oh, let me see, where'd I go? Oh, yeah, off of 6th Street in La Brea. So you see the areas where I try to stay at because I know there's a lot of either a lot of bars, restaurants kind of convenient but still at the same time at nighttime I don't want to travel too far away then when I was uh, out there I also got another request in from Hollywood so I picked this lady up that said she was from the Bronx picked her up she was out here um, doing some musical stuff she works with a concert so I took her to the airport and dropped her off and can you believe only from Hollywood to the airport it's only $13 that is a good deal and you can have your bags in my car because my car's big enough. A lot of people ask for the Uber X, which is the uh, SUV size where they'll feel more comfortable. So that's pretty cool. And then after I dropped her off at the airport, then I re got, received another request. Picked somebody up from the G Sports bar and dropped her off off of like Hauser and Pico area. Then when I left there, uh, I got another call in from Culver City area and, and I dropped this lady off in Laurel Canyon and oh my god those houses over there are huge beautiful you got to go up and down some little curves and it's kind of spooky because it's kind of dark and then I'm like thinking imagining like dang how about the people that actually have to move up there in those hills it reminded me of uh, Shelton Lane in uh, Oakland California because when my auntie used to live out there 
you always have to go around some little curves and stuff to get up to the houses up in the hills, and then the backyard is nothing but a cliff. <laughs> so that was kind of spooky when I was growing up. But anyway, that was my uh, fourth trip, my second weekend, Super Bowl 50. And make sure you like my page, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll give you the link at the bottom of my page so that you can uh, be an Uber driver also. And also uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see more of what I have besides Ubering. I have other videos of all kind of other stuff. I have stuff about Valentine's Day, what you might want to have on your Valentine's Day date. Um, and my... Make my make my makeup is provided by Avon. Always on point eyeliner, ultra color lipstick, <laughs> butterfly ring, my other ring, and my hat is made by CEO Millionaires, and I'll have that link at the bottom also. So once again, share on your social media like everyone else. Subscribe to my channel, and happy Valentine's Day. See you when I see you. I also want to tell you that, you know, when a person gets in your car and after you ask them how their day was going and what kind of music they like to listen to, a lot of times people say they just like to listen to whatever I have on. Um, you know, sometimes you can kind of tell when people don't want to talk. <laughs> they kind of like shut down and don't say nothing or they'll say, oh, okay, mm-hmm. And that's like, all right, be quiet. So then it's time for me to shh. Not say anything else, but then if I'm listening to something, I know the words, then I'm going to kind of sing. Then I'm like, oh, wait, somebody's back there. I don't think they want to hear me sing, especially since I'm not a singer. But, you know, keep it calm and quiet. Sometimes at nighttime, people might want to rest. Like the lady that I was taking to the airport and the lady who I was taking up to Laurel Canyon, they were kind of quiet. So I figured that was their time to be on their phones. All right. Thanks for checking in and listening and have a good day.